Hi, I'm Alan Lang, National Sales Manager for Scout Boats. I'm here at the Charleston Harbor Marina, standing on the front of our 350 LXF. This particular model comes with a anchor windlass with an anchor that's inset into the front of the bow. And this is the same on all of our LXF models. We've got a safety lanyard here to keep it from going out when it's not supposed to, or if anyone presses the button when they shouldn't be. I've got foot pedals up here in the bow, and I also have controls for it back at the helm. I'm standing on the bow table right now that lifts up electronically. I can bring it up level here with the other cushions. Inside the console storage area, I've got shore power, a ladder, and also my cushion that fits here to form the full lounge. If I don't want to use the lounge and I want to have a picnic up top, stow the cushion away easily here, back to the switch, and I can raise it up fully for a nice bow table to entertain guests, have dinner, drinks, whatever you like. So on our console lounge seat, we've got armrests on either side. It's nice and long so you can fully lounge out. Underneath, we've got an area for the bow pad. We've got the shore power cord, storage for the Armstrong ladder, and anything else you want to put in here. We can also fit about three to four dive tanks in here. And this shuts nicely, stows everything away, watertight. So on the port side of the 350 LXF console, we have a nice entry door. Swings all the way open, nice and wide. I've got a nice step down here and a good grab handle that helps me get down inside. We have a sink, we have a berth that sleeps too comfortably. So the V-berth folds up in the center and there's a folding table that folds down from that, allows you to come down here in the AC and enjoy lunch. We have a nice storage bin uh -huh. on the starboard side. Got a microwave up top. We have a nice AC control unit here with a vent here. We've got a porcelain head with overboard discharge. We have a nice AC and DC panel with voltage meter controls. I also have access panels to the back side of the console that allows you to go in and access different wiring and things that would normally be hard to get to. On this boat, it's very easy. So on either side of the boat, we've got storage here. It's great for flip-flops and t-shirts and that sort of thing. And then moving back to the starboard side of the console, I've got a specific locker that houses the lines, gaff, line hook, brush, keeps it in here nice and dry and able to hang without cluttering up the horizontal rod storage on the boat. And as I move back to the helm, I've got lots of nice things going on back here. This particular model as an option, I have a bow thruster here. I've got tilt steering with a nice Edson steering wheel, digital throttles, trim tabs, engine starts, a glove box here with an MP3 player and a 12 volt plug. These screens allow me to do all sorts of different things. I can check the fuel on the boat. I can go back and check the gauges, GPS speed. I can go in here and I can see my stereo, operate my stereo from here, combos, chart and sonar. I can do digital switching. Uh, we also have emergency switches that are up above, so if you don't want to go to the screen, you can easily click the horn or lights and that sort of thing above top here. And I've got sonar on this side, so I can do a different setup, which however I'd like customized on the dash here. I also have an AC. It's a 12-volt AC that blows up here at the helm and also down below, and of course, a compass. A couple very unique features about this boat. Number one, it comes with C-Zone. So when I go up to the boat, I can press number one, and that will automatically power up the boat for me. You can have it where your stereo plays. I can do different modes, two, three, and four, where it will automatically cut on my electronics, or I can have it to where I press them like this. Now you're also able to download an app from Garmin that allows you to operate this boat from a tablet or even your cell phone. At the helm seating, there's two different options here. We can go with two seats, or we can forego the center console glove box and then create a 60-40 seat. So it will actually allow about three people to fit here underneath this protected area at the helm. 
There's a nice raised helm pad with a soft cushion for comfort. On the starboard side here, I've also got a refrigerator and I've got raw and fresh water on either side back here underneath the gunnels. So back in the aft cockpit of the boat, I've got mirrored fish boxes on either side. These are on gas shocks, coarse insulated with a nice foam beam around them to keep them nice and sealed off. I've got access to the bilge here. Down inside the bilge, we've got nice bronze seacocks that go through the hole and all the wiring's on Deutsch connectors, so it's all plug and play. It makes it very easy if anything ever needs to be replaced. Fuel water separators and also fuel strainers down here as well. I've got a stern seat that lifts up. Back here at the transom, I've got a nice deep bait well or live well. You can also store your fenders in here. This is nice and insulated, so you can use it as a cooler or whatever you'd like. Got a walk-through transom door. Swings over, this door comes out. I've got full access to the transom, so I can walk all the way across, it's nice and clean. This allows me to board the boat from either the port or the starboard side, either way. And on the port side of the boat, we've got a nice dive door. This door folds up, and the dive door folds down into the water, so it makes it very easy to board the boat with a very nice ladder without having to get back near the props. At the hard top here, we've got a really nice option of a electrical sunshade. This sunshade folds out with a push of a button. I've also got rope lighting that goes all the way around the hard top that lights up really nice, as well as lighting underneath the gunnels, um, optional underwater lighting. So the boat lights up very nice at night looks incredible. This particular model has this summer kitchen option, which gives me a grill here, nice cooler box here or storage, cutting board on top with a fresh water sink underneath. If I didn't go with this option, I would have the standard feature of a rear facing seat that would also have some cup holders and some sliding tackle drawers underneath it. And if I lift that seat up, there's a live well underneath there as well. We've got 11 rod holders right here at the back of the boat. And finally, we have our power. This is triple 350 Mercury's. This package on this boat is probably about 11,000 pounds. Beautiful looking custom paint. We actually have a custom paint booth at the factory and we can paint these custom for you any way you'd like. And it reaches speeds of nearly 70 miles an hour.